teenager from Bristol who has a rare disease says he's desperate to raise hundreds of thousands of pounds for a new drug which could help him to walk again. The 17-year-old has spinal muscular atrophy which affects the nervous system. But his family are unable to get the medication which could change his life as it's not yet available on the NHS and too expensive. Here's our health correspondent Matthew Hill. These days, Jake Ogborne is only able to use a wheelchair, but a few years ago, he took part in sport and most normal activities. I used to be able to walk pretty much everywhere, and I never used to use my chair, ever. It's only, it was when I was 13, the first time I started using a chair, all the time. But up to then, I would rarely use it, and then now I'm in it all the time, and I can, I can't really stand anymore at all. Heartbreaking. A year ago he was doing his GCSEs and he was still able to walk around the house, in and out to the car. And then he had eight really bad falls on one day, went over on his ankle, kept going over on the same ankle, and he's never been able to walk since. That's because he has SMA, which affects up to 1,300 children and adults in the UK. A new drug called Spinraza has been shown to stop the disease from progressing, but so far it's only been given by the drug company Biogen to patients like Amelia Piddington, who has the most dangerous type 1 form of the disease. We notice the difference pretty much straight away. She's now had six injections and the difference in her is, is amazing. She could never hold a head before. Now she's pretty much got full head control. Her ability to do everything is gaining all the time the conversations and her ability to talk to us is just amazing which is very rare for an SMA child to be able to talk back to you and communicate with you <laughs> the body that evaluates drugs in England, NICE will soon announce whether Spinraza will be available on the NHS and for which patients but it's thought children over 5 will miss out Jake's family have set up a crowdfunding page, but at a cost of £300,000 for the first year's treatment, their task is daunting. It's devastating and heartbreaking. I wish we'd never known about it, um, knowing it's sat on a shelf somewhere and we can't get access to it. Biogen says the high prices are due to the highly complex drug discovery and development process and the small number of patients they treat. But they are discussing the pricing options with NICE and NHS England. Jake's parents have written to Biogen to ask if they will allow their son to take part in a trial so more evidence can be gained about the drug's effect on older children. Matthew Hill, BBC Points West, Bristol. And joining us now from London is Professor Raphael Janes, a scientist who works on rare diseases at the University of London, and he's a trustee of the Genetic Alliance UK. Thanks very much indeed for coming on the programme. Do you think young Jake would benefit from this drug? He could probably benefit. If I can give some background about this, uh, spinal muscular atrophy is one of around 7,000 rare diseases, each of which affect uh, fewer than 1 in 2,000 people. Uh, altogether, they affect about 7% of the population, which in the UK is about 3.5 three million people at some stage in their lives. Uh, spinal muscular atrophy affects, as you have said before, about maybe 1,000 people in the UK, and it presents with a range of severities. Uh, the most severe type, what we call type 1, and I understand you have just watched a video, is also exemplified here. This is a real baby, his name is Cameron. Cameron would have died before age two because all type 1 SMA children do. But he was treated with this very potent drug, Spinraza, and he achieved developmental milestones like uh, standing unaided and, uh, sta sorry, sitting up unaided and standing well, well, up that, that otherwise wouldn't have uh, been achieved. That, that's so wonderful it, news, Professor, but it this, the family is, is presented or has to face a £300,000 bill for one year. Well, of course, it's out of range for almost everybody. Uh, that's correct, and the, the problem is, as these uh, diseases affect few people, uh, there is not much prospect for a pharmaceutical company to uh, get a massive benefit from it. So the price tag is likely to be uh, high. That's, but that, there is no but that's not fair, is it? There, there must no. be a mechanism to make to level that out, because if you have a common disease, of course, the price per dose is going to be much lower. Absolutely, absolutely, and in fact, uh, Spinraza is a very important drug in many respects because it's a trailblazer.
cancer for the new drugs that are being developed, the gene and cell therapies that are being developed uh, after the knowledge of the human genome uh, that we have obtained for the last 10 uh, to 15 years. And uh, that is, is very important because more and more drugs are going to be available and if we don't find a way to find this through the national health service then it's effectively wasted effort so but, it is very important but what is the answer because of course this is an astronomical cost isn't it for the nhs where uh, well there's rationing isn't there it is but uh so once a drug is approved for marketing, Expinrasa was by uh, the EMA, the European Medicines Agency, then the national governments have to reach an agreement with the manufacturer on the price. And the price is never the, the catalog price that you have heard, those £300,000. Uh, it will be lower. It's not disclosed, so we won't actually know how much NICE or, or the NHS will pay for it if they decide uh, to, to approve it. At the moment, no one gets a spin rasa through the NHS because the, the assessment of this drug is currently ongoing and we should hear soon and that's why uh, while you can buy it as, as Jake is trying to, uh, to, raise, to crowdfund to raise those funds uh, at the moment no one can actually okay. get it through the NHS. Okay, it's a really tough problem. Thank you so much for coming on the program and, and explaining the context. Thank you. My pleasure.